Welcome back again with Cho's Movie Recap. Today, I will show you comedy film and sci fi from 2001, titled Black Knight. Spoiler ahead. Watch out and take care. At the beginning of the story, a man named Jamal Walker is shown. He is getting ready to work and welcome his new day. Jamal is a cheerful man. He also works at an amusement park that is almost bankrupt and deserted because he has to compete with the Castle World Amusement Park, which is about to open. And that day, Jamal got an assignment to clean the very dirty trench. Jamal secretly invites his best friend to apply for a job to Castle World Amusement Park. Then Jamal saw a shiny object from the bottom of the trench, and as he was about to pick it up, he suddenly fell and fell into the ditch. When he came to the surface, it seemed like he was somewhere else and not where he had fallen before. Jamal has time travel, and back to medieval, but he still doesn't realize it. At that time, he met a drunken man named Nolte. Jamal thought the man was drunk from attending the opening party of the Castle World Amusement Park. Jamal feels sorry for Nolte's condition, and thinks Nolte is a tramp. It seems Jamal still doesn't realize where he is now. When he arrived at a village, he was almost hit by a horseman named Percival. Jamal ran after him, and he saw a large palace in front of him. Jamal still thinks that the palace is a Castle World amusement park. Castle World? Then Jamal tries to enter the kingdom, intending to meet their manager, but the guards stop him. And when the guard asked where Jamal was from, he said he was from Normandy, and the guards let him in because they thought he was a messenger from Normandy who brought news to the king. When he entered the palace, Jamal saw all the residents wearing medieval costumes, which he thought they were actors who were acting for Castle World amusement park. Jamal met a girl named Victoria. Jamal tried to seduce Victoria because of her beauty, but Victoria felt strange with Jamal's attitude. Then came Percival, who was seducing the girls. Jamal, who saw Percival's behavior, would report it to his manager to be fired from his job. But it looks like Percival is still angry with Jamal for being rude to him. Then Jamal goes to meet the king accompanied by Phillips. Phillips is surprised because the envoy from Normandy should come in a week. When he met the king named King Leo, Jamal was confused because the king asked when the Duke of Normandy would come to marry his daughter, Princess Regina. Then Jamal informed the king that the Duke would come on Tuesday. After that, Jamal is welcomed to his resting room. That day, it turned out that there was an execution of the rebel leader, and Jamal wanted to see it. When the execution was over, Jamal still thought that it was a hoax, but it turned out to be all real, so Jamal fainted. After realizing, Jamal is still hysterical because he has never seen execution, and Victoria tries to calm Jamal down. Jamal finally realized that he had lost in the passage of time and returned to the year 1328 AD. He was increasingly frustrated because he was confused about how to return. Then Victoria tried to calm Jamal down by untying his shirt, and Jamal quickly took off his pants hoping he could get a full menu from Vicky. Vicky just wanted to show the same medal that Jamal wore. Vicky thinks Jamal is also one of the rebels who will kill King Leo, and it turns out that Vicky is one of the rebels who opposes the cruel leadership of King Leo, and wants to return the power of the kingdom to the queen. The king invited Jamal to travel on a horse, but Jamal was confused because he had never ridden a horse before, so that he looked ridiculous when he was about to ride a dark horse that was prepared for him. King Leo and the others laughed at Jamal's behavior. In the evening, the king entertained Jamal with a big party and asked Jamal about Normandy. Then the king asked Jamal to show his skills in singing and dancing, because at his wit's end, Jamal finally put on a show singing in the style of the 2000s. Everyone who was there finally joined the dance with Jamal. Suddenly, Princess Regina appeared who immediately kissed Jamal. It was witnessed by an angry Percival and tried to catch Jamal for daring to kiss the princess. Then two people were seen trying to kill the king who was having a party at that time, but Jamal accidentally thwarted the king's assassination attempt, and the king's bodyguards immediately caught the rebel. As a result of this incident, the king was angry with Percival because missed, and as a form of thanks for being saved by Jamal, finally the king appointed Jamal to be a royal official. Well, I would give you 60 hectares of land, as you need. I've reached my. After agreeing to the king's decision, then Jamal introduced the logo and design of the clothes to the security forces. Just then, the king called Jamal and showed Jamal that there was a farmer who was caught for stealing turnips in the palace garden, with the excuse of feeding his poor family starving. But the cruel King Leo will execute the farmer and his family. 
hearing that Jamal who was appointed as royal security immediately acted, he took the farmer away and released him out of pity. That night Jamal calls Vicky to talk, but they have to pretend they are making love so the guards don't suspect them. It turns out that Jamal asks Vicky for help to get out of the palace because he is afraid that his lie will be exposed, when the real messenger arrives. But Vicky is angry because Jamal still doesn't want to join the rebellion. When going to sleep, a woman came into Jamal's room and they finally made love. The next day, the envoy from the original Normandy arrived. This made the king angry and immediately met Jamal in his room. But how surprised the king was to find his daughter sleeping with Jamal, and the envoy from Normandy cancelled the proposal knowing the princess had been tarnished. Because of his actions, Jamal was thrown into prison in a room with the rebels who were caught, and they were preparing to be executed. But Jamal was very scared because he didn't want to die in that place. The next day, the executioner was seen preparing his execution axe. The king ordered the execution of Jamal, but Jamal asked the king to allow Jamal to say his last words. He also pretends to be a magician who can emit fire, but the king and his people do not believe it. When the executioner was about to execute Jamal, he suddenly choked on the melon he was eating. Everyone thought Jamal was cursing the executioner. When Jamal bullied everyone, suddenly a fiery arrow shot into the king's tent. It turned out to be Nolte who was assisted by Victoria trying to free Jamal and the other two prisoners. Percival and the guards keep trying to catch Jamal, but Jamal manages to escape with Nolte. The charm. Nolte takes Jamal to a rebel settlement, and there Victoria tells Jamal that Nolte was actually a knight, but his life changed after the usurpation of power by King Leo. He chose to retire and did not want to fight anymore. When he was drunk, suddenly Nolte was blocked by three people who were bullying him. Then Jamal appeared, who saved Nolte. He beat the three people, but Jamal was outnumbered, and that's when Nolte came to save Jamal. And rediscovered his spirit as a knight. It made Jamal happy. That's what I'm talking about. Well, perhaps there's. When they arrived at the settlement, they were surprised to see the settlement, which was already in a state of ravages due to the destruction of the Percival patrol troops, and took Victoria. When they lost their enthusiasm and hope, suddenly the queen appeared. She came to restore the spirit of her people. Jamal asked the queen to give words of encouragement to her people, but the queen did not succeed in burning the spirits of her people. Then Jamal went up for a speech and encouraged the people to join the fight with the queen and seize the power of King Leo. Jamal finally succeeded. Then Jamal trains the troops that will join the attack on the army of King Leo. He trains in a military style and a little sports. That night, Jamal gave his shoes to Nolte, and Nolte gave a knight armor to Jamal. Jamal slightly modified his armor. The next day, the rebel troops led by Nolte were seen entering the kingdom because the kingdom was empty without guards. It turned out that it was all a Percival trap that had prepared his troops outside the palace. In the end, war was unavoidable. When the royal troops were about to enter the palace, suddenly a legendary black knight appeared, thus frightening the royal troops. And the knight came by spitting fire like a dragon in legend. However, it turned out. Royal troops finally began to push and forced Percival to leave. When King Leo asked Percival for help, Percival threw the king and fell into the trench. When he managed to paralyze his opponent, suddenly Nolte was hit by an arrow from Percival. Nolte asked Jamal to go save Victoria, who was held hostage by Percival. When Jamal faced Percival, it looked like he almost lost, but he started to rise because he didn't want Nolte's death to be in vain. If he lost, he can also drop Percival with his sports technique. When Jamal helps Vicky, suddenly Percival appears, who will attack him from behind. But Percival falls because of an arrow from Nolte, which turns out to be not dead. Finally, Jamal and the others celebrate their victory. <laughs> Jamal's time came to return to the time he was in. He also said farewell to Victoria and asked her to kiss. Then the queen crowned Jamal Walker as a black knight. Jamal suddenly realized and returned to his era to make his friend confused. Then Mrs. Bostick came and was angry with Jamal. She also told Jamal that she quit her job, but Jamal forbade Mrs. Bostick and asked her to rebuild the amusement park with Jamal's idea. Six weeks later, the amusement park was seen to be bustling again. 
Suddenly Jamal saw the visible figure of Victoria different. The girl's name is Nicole or Nikki. Jamal doesn't want to lose the opportunity to be close to Nikki and invite her to dinner but don't forget to ask for her number and while chasing Nikki she again falls into the trench. At the end of the film Jamal gets lost in the gladiator age. Thank you for watching.